Come in. Hey bro, you hear about that $1,600 display Apple made? Yeah, actually I, uh, I got one right here. I went and picked one up. Oh, no way. Dude, how is it? It's actually pretty great. Yeah, uh, it's 5K retina display, center stage. It's got built-in speakers, which actually sound pretty nice. 5K, holy crap, that's like, that's like so many more pixels greater than 4K. I mean, you gotta tell me, what's it like to use? Oh, it's, it's fantastic. The display is super sharp. Uh, you know, I can edit photos, videos on it, no problem. And coding is amazing. I actually did a video review on this monitor with uh, all those details and yeah, I'm loving it. I can even listen to some music with the built-in speakers. Oh, oh yeah, that's really cool. I mean, not a lot of monitors have good built-in speakers, so that's definitely a plus. Can't believe that is with that 5K display either. I mean, that's gotta be insane for games, right? I mean, it, it's okay. I I can play Civ 6 on here and it, it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, Civ 6, I bet looks mint. But what other games have you tried? I'm talking like Counter-Strike, like Warzone, uh, Cyberpunk, freaking Nightmare Reaper. Like what are those games like to play on? Ah, yeah, I, I see what you mean, yeah. Um, well, this is this is a, a, a Mac that I'm using it with, uh, the M1, and you know, it can't really game all that much, despite Apple's claims that it can do some comparisons with like Windows graphics cards. It's not really meant for gaming. Mac, oh man, you gotta try that beast out on a proper gaming rig. That's what your viewers really want to see. They want to see that thing gaming at 5K, right? Yeah, I mean, I've shown off the connection to, to Windows on my video review. And I mean, I don't know, it, you gotta pay for a graphics card. They're kind of hard to get. And then, you know, you don't get like the Apple exclusive features that you get with the monitor. So there's a lot of trade-offs with it. Bro, you gotta let me show your viewers what that thing is capable of gotta let me game on it. I have my gaming rig. I'll just hook it up and we'll see how it goes. No offense, but nobody cares about the Mac. Nobody cares about stage left or whatever it's called. People want to see gaming on that thing. I, I think you mean center stage, but yeah, sure. Let's see it. It's all yours. Oh, you guys, I just had the craziest dream. I think we should test out the Apple Studio display with a gaming rig and see how it does. I'm Taylor, welcome to the channel, and today we're gonna be exploring how the Apple Studio display pairs with a gaming rig. Let's game in 5K. Okay, let's talk gaming on this monitor. Now that we've covered that crazy intro, which by the way, I hope you liked. I spent a lot of time on it and had a lot of fun creating it. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you didn't like it, then hopefully you like this part and leave a like anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so we're gonna talk about this monitor with gaming. Uh, it works surprisingly well, as we're about to see. And I just wanna let you know, that there's one thing to be aware of, is if you are swapping this out with a G-Sync compatible monitor, you probably have G-Sync enabled on the NVIDIA control panel. You're gonna wanna go ahead and disable that for this monitor. Otherwise, you're gonna get like a weird flickering in games. So just disable that and then play your game. It'll work fine. So let's explore some games and see how they play. Okay, Counter-Strike is gonna be the first game that we're gonna look at today. And I'm gonna try to display the frame weight 
as big as possible. CSGO, for some reason, does not play nicely with MSI Afterburner. I don't know why. I don't know if that's the result of the resolution or if it just doesn't work. Um, I have the, the net graph set centered down below, but as you can see, because of the resolution, it's uh, cutting off halfway through the frame rate, so that's not very useful. Some of these games have hilariously bad scaling to 5K, and I think this game is like one of the worst offenders, to be honest, because it's pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna go to video, and you can see it's at 5120 by uh, 2880, and we have like a pretty much all high settings here. Um, so let's jump into, oh, check this out. So if I go into the community server browser, look how tiny the font is like i can i have to like get this close to the monitor to see the font and i'm just gonna i'm gonna try to jump into one of the most populated um warm-up servers and just try it out oh now the frame rate is scaled properly okay we'll go with the ak and the p2000 and there's no sound the uh, the sound's coming through the headphones because the built-in sound doesn't work on the monitor when you have it connected to windows Okay, so we're at 5K and we're getting like 130 frames per second on Dust2 with like, I think this is a 24 man uh, server, which is pretty populated. And that's a pretty good frame per second. I, th saw, I thought I saw it dip down below 100 for a second, but it seems to hover, yeah, when I die it goes it dips down, but it seems to hover around 120 and 140. I think that's the highest I've seen. That is totally playable. Too bad this monitor doesn't have ProMotion. Okay, the next one I'm gonna try is Doom. So I'm gonna go into the video, and right now it's set to 2560 by 1440. Keep in mind, I'm on an RTX 2080, so it, it doesn't have the most amount of VRAM. I think it has like eight gigs or something. So I'm gonna crank it up to 5K. And this game does not particularly like 5K and we'll see that right here. So I am in the menu and <laughs> it is lagging so much. So let's jump into the campaign. Okay, here's Erdak. I think this is one of the most beautiful maps in the game. I love showing it off in my uh, graphics videos. Just loaded in here and the, the UI is loading all in. I am hitting the W key to move forward. And yeah, we're getting like six frames per second. I wonder if I can pull up. Yeah, okay, there, there's the, the MSI. We're getting six frames per second at 5K on this game. <laughs> it is pretty slow. That is very, very slow. It, it, that is basically like slideshow level, um, Microsoft PowerPoint level kind of graphics here. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> so that does that doesn't really do great. Now, let me set it down to 4K and let's see if it makes a difference. Okay, I'm in 4K now, and we can at least navigate the menu reasonably, reasonably well. And now we're at 25, 24 frames per second. That is a huge jump from 5K to 4K. 20 frames per second almost. That is very significant. Now let me drop it down to 1440. Okay, 2560 by 1440. This is the resolution that I would normally play on my 27 inch Alienware. And now we're getting 149 frames per second. Are you kidding me? How does it make that big of a difference? Like that is insane. This is smooth as butter too. Uh, 1440 is definitely the way to go on this game with this monitor. I think it's the Vulcan API. It has that massive difference. But uh, yeah, th this is much, much better. Okay, now I'm in Battlefield 5 and I'm gonna set the resolution to uh, 5120 by 2880, 5K, and let's see how this goes. All my graphic settings are pretty much set to the minimum amount. Here we are in a nice big open map in 5K Battlefield 5. Wow, this looks gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning to see this game in 5K. And right now we're running at between 45 and 51 frames per second, which is not that bad, actually, considering that this is an RTX 2080 and a 5K monitor running at 5K resolution. That is really good. 
40 frames per second. I, I would say that is very, very admirable for this graphics card to be putting up that kind of frames. Let's try dropping it down to 4K. Okay, here we are in another pretty open map. And yeah, we're in 4K, getting around 55 to 60 frames per second. Now it's dipping into the 40s, but still significantly better than uh, 5K. And it just feels a lot smoother as well. Okay, let's try 1440. Okay, now we're in 1440 and it looks like we are absolutely pegged at 60. So likely we are getting higher than 60 frames per second. Oh, just dip down to 59. So we're getting between the lows of 59 and somewhere higher than 60 frames per second. It's hard to tell, but yeah, it's, it's very, very smooth now. And you don't compromise a lot of visuals because the colors are so good. You're just so into the colors it makes it so cinematic and engaging and immersive that you really kind of forget that you're at 1440p resolution okay here i am in war zone in the warm-up area and this is in 5k it looks like we're getting around 27 frames per second i did install the pre shaders um and it's pretty choppy not gonna lie it looks really nice in 5k but Man, it is pretty choppy. We'll see what it's like here in an actual game in a second. All right, we're dropping in pretty close to everything, so I don't know if we're gonna live, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty choppy. Yeah, I would say this is probably borderline unplayable because this is like a competitive game. Uh, let me drop it down to 4K. All right, dropped it down to 4K and now I'm getting 44, 47, 48 frames per second, all the way up to 55. This is much more playable, very smooth. Yeah, I could probably play the uh, full match with this now. This is pretty impressive. All right, now I'm in 1440 and we are at 80 frames per second. Very smooth now, we're getting over that 60 frames per second. And while things do look a little bit blurry because we're in 1440, it still is playable. I do like the smoothness. The last game that I'm gonna try out here is called Nightmare Reaper. It's a little indie game, like a old school first person shooter. And I'm gonna change the graphics to the 5K. Okay, and now we're playing in 5K. So this is like, a, like I said, an indie old school first person shooter. We're getting about 30 frames per second, which is quite low. Honestly, for a game like this, 22, 23, there is lots going on on the screen right now. But yeah, this is like under 30 frames per second. Pretty bad experience. Okay, so let's drop it down to 4K. All right, now we're in 4K and now we're getting like 60 frames per second. This feels way smoother. So I think there's like an optimization thing with this game. It just does not like 5K because there is no way we get double the frame rate going to 4K. Yeah, this is much smoother. Okay, now let's try 1440. See what kind of improvements we get there. Okay, and looks like we're still at 50 frames per second, 60. So surprisingly, not a big jump from 4K to 1440. So I think there's just like some kind of weird optimization thing going on with the 5K in this game. It's a very fun game too. If you have not checked this out, check it out because this game is just pure fun.
And that's all the games that I really wanted to show you today. I hope you liked this video and got an idea of what it's like to game on this monitor. Honestly, I'm having a blast gaming on this monitor. I have my Alienware uh, 240Hz 1440p monitor just laying on the ground. Haven't used it since. Um, this is 60Hz 5K and I'm enjoying it a lot better. It's just so much more immersive. The colors are way better. The brightness is way better. The 5K resolution is sick to game on. I just wish I had a graphics card that could pump this thing to the absolute maximum and game in 5K, but I think we'll just have to wait on that. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far in the video, you are awesome. And please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. It will really help me out. And yeah, I, I love making these videos for you guys. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. This has been my experience with this monitor and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. It shot all of my nose. Oh, okay. Worth it. <laughs>